There's this conversation that always comes up anytime you're talking with with a group of people, especially a group of people that are doing anything online and social media, doing anything of significance or not about having haters. And it's almost like this badge of honor. Badge They're of like, honor. yo, bro, like, yeah, I got, I got haters, man. And do they? Do they? <laughs> do they really have do haters? They have haters. Or does their mom just disagree with what they had to say in that video? <laughs> right. <laughs> Will Frederick Dumont says, when doing something that is not popular or something different, what is the best way to mentally toughen yourself to block out all of the hate or negativity so it doesn't affect you? I think first it's understanding that you'll never block it all out. And it's getting to the point where it just, you're never gonna not care what other people think. As much as Gary Vee tells you not to, as much as every other influencer tells you not to, you're always gonna care what other people think. And so it boils down to not allowing what other people think to affect what you do. And so there's plenty of times where, you know, I. I'll, you know, someone will say something and I care about what they're saying and it hurts, but I'm not gonna let it stop me from doing what I'm doing. And again, that, that it, it, yeah, this whole episode so far this morning has been about the fact that like, if the end goal is extremely clear, then it becomes way more important than what anybody else has to say. I don't care if it's your mom, I don't care if it's, you, know, you hear people say that all the time, or Gary Vee say like, you know, F your mom. I wouldn't take it that far. But like, it doesn't matter who it is and what they're saying. Like if, if you decide that that's important, if you decide that that is what you're gonna do, then you do it. And you know, you get, you'll get to this place and, and it's, you know, in that momentum phase where you almost, enjoy seeing those type of comments, enjoy hearing people talk about you. Because people don't talk about other people that are going after something and that are, you know, working hard and that are hustling. People don't talk about them unless they're doing something that's, ex that's extraordinary. Because it's natural human, it's human nature that when you are all of a sudden putting massive effort towards something, it sheds a gigantic spotlight on the areas that, that someone is not. And their natural reaction is gonna be to hate on that or to downplay that or to tell you that that's not what you should be doing because they're not doing it. And you know, you just have to take those things with a grain of salt. I mean, when someone says something like, I'm just like, huh, that's interesting. Because I'm just thinking about how it reflects on their life, you know? And like when someone says something mean, you know, someone says something negative, like in a comment, like I have so much empathy for that person because I'm like, man, like where does this person have to be in their life to actually take the time to watch that video or to read that post and then actually type in this negative comment. I'm like, man, that sucks. Like I would hate to be in that place. And so I'm empathetic to it because I know that they're in a bad place. And I know that there needs to be a perspective change, that there needs to be a switch made in their mind because there's obviously some areas where they're failing. And that's the only reason that they would ever do something like that.